Hello, welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson, as promised, we will create uh, the links here that will add the item to the shopping cart and we will activate this link and the visitor will be able to access his shopping cart by clicking on this link. Okay, let's go to the editor. Let's open our product page let's look for our icon okay here it is and we just need to create a link for this uh, image but the thing is that when this image will become a link a border will be automatically created for it so let's set the border attribute to be zero and let's add the link now let's link to cart.php we will not give an ID here as a uh, variable because we don't want to do anything but the problem is that inside our cart page if the action is unset it will be set to empty and empty our chart but we don't want to empty it so let's just set action to be something if it will be something it will be set and then it will not be set to empty it will be just set to be something and then really none of this switch cases will be activated and then we will just get to the displaying part of our card okay so let's just put here action is none for example now let's close our link and give it a try Oh, I think that I just linked the big picture instead of linking the, the icon. So I will cut it. I will delete it. Border can uh, stay be zero. It's zero anyway. It's not a link. Let's look for our cart image. Here it is. And we can add the link here close it and set the border to be zero okay let's save and refresh okay our image is now here at the bottom although it is a link let's click on it okay great we have our card by the way I want to add a multiple sign here right near the X okay let's add something like this and refresh okay great I want also to add dollar signs this is the total and the line cost will get a dollar sign as well okay now let's go back to our product and think why after inserting a link to this image oh where is our link let's hit ctrl Z and I just copied the div class instead of copying the link so let's cut it and paste it here close the link here and add 
border to be zero. That's right now. Let's go to product. Okay, this is a link now. And it is uh, uh, located at the right place, but it's just displaying the shopping cart. It's actually the link that should be used here. And for this uh, icon, we should change the link so it will add one item uh, to our shopping cart. So let's just copy this link as is and put it inside our left part. File, no, not new. We will use our left file. And here we will insert this link. Let's close it. Great. Let's correct the link inside product. Action will be add. And ID should be equal to ID. Let's see that our ID is set. Yes, ID is set here. So we can just make it equal to ID. Variable. Okay. I just refresh the page and if I will click on this link now you can see that there is a change uh, or let's check it again yes there is a change in the quantity of our product let's choose another product for example this one the ID here is 2 let's add it okay we can see that now this quantity is increased we can reduce it back and we can delete the line and we can of course choose any one of our products and add it to the shopping cart okay great uh, this part is working uh, next we will uh, interact this uh, shopping cart with uh, PayPal let's just check this link okay it's working as well maybe we should put it uh, take it a little bit down maybe a little bit left using CSS maybe at the end okay we can finish the lesson now and continue to work about our shopping cart later bye bye